The Reds have guaranteed themselves an extra game at least. Been there, done that. Most guys in the clubhouse don't feel like an extra game is the playoffs. Rather, a game to get to the playoffs. And the Reds have lost in the first round their last two trips. So tied with the Pirates and two back of the cards, they play for more game. Not a good night for the Reds taking on the Mets. Mike Leake just did not have it. He goes 21 plus innings without a run allowed, but the second inning did him in. He gives up four, doesn't make it out of the second inning. A Daniel Murphy three run homer just about sent him to the showers, and the Reds couldn't hit Jonathan Neese. They, they score on a ground out, they score on a double play ball. Chu goes two for four. Joey Votto goes 0 for 4. Cardinals win. They're three back of the Cardinals with four to play. Pirates win. They're a game back of the Pirates uh, for the first wild card spot. Matt Latos is going to pitch the finale with the Mets tomorrow afternoon. He told the Inquirer Monday that he's been pitching with an indomitable strain suffered in the Rangers game June 30th. Today, Latos said he's weathered the storm. It's not an issue. He's in line to pitch the wild card game Tuesday, should it come to that. And Billy Hamilton's only been in the big leagues a few weeks, but he's waiting for his first endorsement deal. Now 13 for 13 in stolen bases. Billy's telling everyone Mountain Dew makes him run fast. He drinks it before the game, during the game. Since he only weighs about 84 pounds, I guess he can continue to have it. Dusty says Billy will play in the lineup tomorrow. Bengals signed safety Tony Dye to the practice squad today. Second-year player out of UCLA. Played in all four Bengals preseason games. He was waived August 31st. Uh, the, the Cleveland had a very good football team, a better football team than their record a year ago. And uh, they made some changes and moving in a different direction. They've got a, an, another good football team. You know, they've got a lot of good players. So uh, we know it's going to be a tough struggle up there. And uh, we've got to have a good week and a hard week of preparation in order to go up there and play. Practice for the Browns begins tomorrow. After three weeks, the first high school football playoff Harbin ratings are out. D1, Colerain's 18th in the country and they're second in Ohio behind Centerville. Moeller, Fairfield, Elder in the top eight. Full boat in D2. Loveland on top. Take the list all the way down to Kings and Anderson in Division Three. It's just, uh, there you go. There's your D2 right there. Now we're in D3. Western Brown and New Richmond. Then you move to D4. There's Taylor, Clinton, Massey, Fenwick, and McNick. And we move on to D5. Baden, CHCA, Purcell, Marion, and Redding. And in D6, it's Summit, CCD, Fayetteville, and Perry.